Hey everybody, welcome back to The Portable Gamer. Welcome to the first episode of an early access game I found on Steam called Truck and Logistics Simulator. It's a little different. It's early access, you know? So we're gonna check it out and this is, uh, well, let me see, I don't even know where to start. Let's, let's go pick up this job and we'll go from there. So we are going to start up and we wanna be, uh, I think right over there. It's a little hard to find my way around so far, but I think we want to be right over there. So that means we'll go out onto this street right here. All right, and we'll take a left carefully. And then we'll take another left. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Turn signal, safe driver. Oh, and this is perfect. Sun's going down. Okay. So you'll be able to see, this game runs on Unity, and you'll be able to see it's got some really uh, complex lighting. And I find that to be kind of encouraging. So, I, whoa, we just passed it. There it is, right there. All right. So the way this game works is, uh, obviously, it's got a truck simulator aspect to it. We're in a panel van right now. You can buy uh, cars, you can buy pickups, you can buy panel vans, drop sides. Here we go. So, uh, I mean, this one pays really well. This one up top here, it is fragile, but it pays really well. I like money. And it will take us, uh, it's gonna take us all the way across the map. Perfect, let's do this one. And then we'll just call it when we get to the end of that. All right, so we select this, right? This is uh, a loading screen that it takes you into that gives you kind of an overview of the controls, right? So we want to, fire up we want to turn on our headlights and we're going to load our van first and then we're going to load our trailer so yeah it's uh i mean there are at any given moment there are always uh competitors people trying to take a shot at truck sim carefully <laughs> carefully and you know as far as whether there ever will be anything that can take over for truck sim I don't know about that. Truck Sim is, it's big. It's well-established. It's a good game for one thing. It's a good Sim, but it's well-established. It's got a huge fan base. I don't know if anybody could take over for it. I don't know if anybody would want to uh, try to duplicate Truck Sim. And this game does not. It's got, it's got things that are different than, I don't know why we're getting movement on our, on our forks there. We're not moving those. All right, so if we go in here now and then lower this and back out, back it out. If we back out, then this will complete its loading automatically. Beautiful. So yeah, I don't know that anybody will ever, uh, for lack of a better word, beat truck sim at truck sim, but there are other aspects of sim trucking that I would not mind getting into. And I feel like this game may be taking that approach. Things like loading in the yard right now, that's very cool. We don't do that in Truck Sim. And also having access to different kinds of vehicles. You know, I hear these persistent rumors that they're going to bring uh, a bus to Truck Sim. Right in here like so. Because the cities already exist, the highways already exist. And apparently they are building static bus depots in truck sim and people say well it wouldn't it wouldn't be a big jump carefully carefully it wouldn't be a big jump to add buses to truck sim and then instead of picking up a cargo at a depot you just pick up people oh 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 no oh no all right so now we got to try to flip this thing back over. Uh, all right, so if we go here, I don't know what the collisions are like on these. Yeah, it's just going right through it. How about if we go up here a little bit? And then back up. Oh, beautiful. So you would pick up people instead of cargo, and you would haul people from city to city instead of cargo. I don't know if, 
if most truck sim fans want that, but they could easily implement it, and I wouldn't mind it. I think I'd, I'd be into something like that. So there are plenty of things involving trucks and vehicles that are not currently in truck sim, and I think that means there's a little bit of room. Pardon me, there goes my voice. I think that means there is definitely room in the sim space for a game that wants to be not identical to truck sim, right? but have some things that truck sim doesn't have. And as I'm playing this early access game, I'm noticing some of those things, right? So we're going to drop down a little bit more and see if we can slide out of here. Beautiful. And I think when that compass circle clears it, it looks like that's when it begins the, I don't know, the process of finishing loading, beginning the finishing. Oh, all right. So we'll get this last one on there and then we'll drive across town. So yeah, early access is, I mean, you know how early access is. It's, it could be anything. You takes your chances, but for 15 bucks, I am glad I got this. It's, it's fun. It's a little bit of a novelty, if nothing else. And will certainly help to support the developers. This is made by, oh, I can't remember the dev, but I know it's published by Aerosoft. And Aerosoft is, uh, I don't know, they mostly, mostly involve themselves with pretty good projects. So hopefully this will continue to, I don't know, become something. I feel like it's got a really good base. And I did see they've got a couple of real brands. So we'll carefully back out of here. All right? All right. <laughs> then we're going to hop right in here. So we'll fire this up. We'll go get this hooked up. And things like, I mean, all textures, everything that you're looking at right now, other than I think maybe this vehicle, all the textures are really low res to be expected. You know, I have no problem with that in an early access game. So we'll hook this up. All right. And we are going all the way across town. What are we on on time? Seven minutes. Perfect. So yeah, there's big trucks, there's little trucks, there's pickups and I, I like the idea, if there is ever a career mode for this, I like the idea of starting with a pickup and building your way all the way up to a full-blown fleet of heavy trucks. If there's one thing, I wouldn't say that I dislike it, but if there's one thing that I would really like to see added to Euro Truck and American Truck, it is, um, I mean, we've all started careers in truck sim so many times that it's not really uh, everybody's got their macro everybody's got their their steps that they take to very quickly build a fleet and i feel like it's not uh it's just kind of a given at this point there's no there's no real surprise left anymore when you start a new profile but i would love to start a profile with a single pickup or a single panel van and build all the way up to a fleet of heavy trucks and a couple dozen drivers i think that would be a lot of fun. And perhaps this sim, when it's done, will be uh, an opportunity to do that. Right. So we're going to go up here. There we go. And I don't know how big this world is going to be when it's done. I imagine we'll go city to city, but it could be that we confine ourselves to one city. That's completely unknown at this point, and I don't necessarily want to speculate, give you the wrong impression about what the game is going to become, but... I don't know if it's going to be a lot of detail in a small area or maybe less detail in a big area. And I, I don't mean, when I say that, I don't mean textures and resolution. I mean like the actual content of the game itself. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm impressed so far. I've, I don't know. Early access is always, is always a little bit, you know, you feel like you're rolling the dice. But for 14 bucks, like I said, I'm glad I was able to do this. We'll support the devs and we'll monitor this game like young Anakin. Whoa. No ability to... Oh, that's safe. <laughs> the bridge is, is uh, just a few inches from the edge of the highway. I love it. Uh, at, at this moment, there's no sensitivity adjustment. You can't assign controls. I am using a gamepad, and the only thing, the only option that it gives you is assigned left stick to steer. But as far as the triggers, uh, keyboard commands, that sort of thing, everything is fairly fixed. But again, early access. We don't necessarily 
expect early access games to have that kind of functionality. So, oh, carefully, right through there. And this does have a little bit more, uh, the area that I'm looking at does have a little bit more of a, uh, I don't know, kind of a game world look to it. It's not necessarily 100% realistic, you know, based on a, based on a geo map or a satellite photo or something. Uh, as some, some people do when they make mods or maps, they do make them absolutely realistic to real life. I don't get that feeling with this area. It has a little bit more of a stylized feel to it. Uh, there is, when you, whoa, when you, when you buy your vehicle, there is an interior view. You can select your instrument lights and things like that, but I can't find a way to swap it. So I think that may be, again, something that will be added to the game, uh, possibly fairly soon because it seems like it's already done. But at this moment, I can't find a way to swap the camera around. So we'll see when that gets added. But yeah, a lot of potential. I think there's a lot of potential here. Sir, don't hit my fragile packages. I'll thank you very much. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to exit here. We're going to exit this way. And then we're going to go around. Uh, very often I have my llamas right next to, <laughs> right next to an on-ramp. Uh, and here you have a American Western windmill sort of plopped down there. All right, as you do. Whoa, <laughs> easy player. Uh, that guy is in a hurry to get somewhere. All right, um, I'm pivoting my camera to the right to look in the mirror, but we're not in interior view. <laughs> you ain't got no mirror. I guess what I could do is just take a look all the way around backwards. Check for traffic. I mean, everything is super smooth. We are, uh, the graphic settings are on very high, I think. And we're easily capped at 60 FPS. So that part is, is working fine. Unity treats my system pretty well, or my system treats Unity pretty well. I have good luck with Unity games. I know some people don't. Uh, some people are not fans of Unity, but it's working pretty well for me right now. Um, yeah, I mean, like looking at this little city up here just kind of plop down there. I don't mind it, but again, it does have kind of a video game feel to it rather than a realistic feel, but sometimes that's, I don't know, sometimes that's better. Sometimes that just works in a game. And I did like seeing the uh, that truck when it pulled onto the highway in front of us. I did like seeing it kind of rocking like that. I feel like... Um, and again, this is not a complaint about truck sim, Euro truck or ATS. It's not a complaint but I do feel like the AI physics are sometimes, I don't know, the trucks look really static and sort of bolted to the ground. They don't have a lot of uh, natural movement to them. That's a good way to say it. Whoa, whoa, tank slapper. All right, and I feel like we're going through a tunnel here. And that'll be the first time I've done that. I did one quick mission off camera just to make sure everything was working. And we want headlights. Those are... Oh, shit. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I wanted... No, not wipers. Oh, shit. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, okay. So we'll hook this back up. And we'll turn our headlights on. That was all I wanted to do. I just want to turn my headlights on. And instead, all hell broke loose. All right. <laughs> back on track. I don't know if I if I broke anything in there when I did that. I mean, you would think, surely we did. We had to have. But we'll find out when we get where we're going. Whether or not we did. I did pick a fragile cargo, did I not? Yeah, I did. So, yeah. Overall, I would have to say I'm impressed by this. I mean, obviously, it's, it's early access. It's not done yet. But overall, I am impressed. And I really do like the uh, the compound shadows and... That is something that we're also uh, sort of missing from some games. I know it's extremely CPU and GPU intensive to render uh, dynamic shadows and real world shadows, but it really adds a lot to a game. And it's one of those things that once you see it, once it is added to a game, you wonder how you ever played without it. So we'll see where this game is in a year or two. 
All right, right down here. Right through here. Yeah, there you go. Little lavender farm. Just how do you do? All right. Sky's not bad either. We can pivot down here. Yeah, sky is very, very ominous. I don't know if that's dynamic or just a photo or somewhere in between. But, yep. Yep, a lot of things to like about this. A lot of things to be optimistic about. All right. So we'll go right down here. A little traffic problem. They got it sorted out. And now right through here. Yeah, this seems uh, this seems not to scale as well. This tunnel seems like the, the top of it is about uh, 40 feet up, <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> so that's the that's the details. That's the stuff that will get fixed later. All right, so we're gonna stay to the. It looks like to the uh, right. All right, turn signal. This way. All right. And then to the left. No traffic. So we'll go right over here. And then here. Right. All right. This way. Beautiful. Auto cancel on the turn signal. Nice detail. Love it. Uh, and it, oh God, okay. <laughs> I was wondering where this light on the mountains was coming from. There's the moon. All right. I'm always curious when I see some of the assets in a game like this. I'm curious. Uh, how often a, a publisher reaches out to another one of their developers and says, "Hey, why don't you uh, why don't you go hop up on Google Drive and put all your buildings up there from whatever game or sim you have? Because I've got another developer, and we can save a lot of time if we if we do that." I think sometimes some some assets and models look awfully familiar. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're, they're different games, different sims, they look familiar. All right, so we'll back this up. What are we at on time? 20 minutes, perfect. We'll back this up. I'm really curious if we smashed all our glasses when we dropped our trailer at 50 miles an hour. All right, right in here. I don't know what we need to do to proc this. We need to have, okay, we need to have all three packages in the, in the trailer. Okay, so we got, um, we got a loading bonus, we got a parking bonus, zero cargo damage. All right, so apparently this fragile stuff is pretty durable. There you have it. Right on. Thanks for stopping back to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for our first episode of Early Access. This is Truck and Logistics Simulator. Pivot right down here. Oh, nice. Love that sky. All right. See you next time. Take care now.